Hi guys, my name is Emily O'Hearn and I'm this year's Theatre Week representative. So just to start off, I'm going to read out from the Constitution what it defines as the Theatre Week coordinator. So the Theatre Week coordinator is to manage the organisation and running of Theatre Week alongside the auditors. The Theatre Week coordinator will also act as an OCM. So just to get into a little bit of what my experience with the, this role was this year. Uh, first and foremost, I had a great time. It's a really fantastic role and if you are thinking about running for it, I would absolutely advise going for it. You get to meet really cool people, you get to see really cool plays and it's it's fantastic. There's so much involved in it that's so rewarding and fulfilling. Um, just as regards the responsibility of it, the main things that you need for Theatre Week coordinator are uh, organisational skills, that's first and foremost. There's a lot of events that happen during Theatre Week, you have to be able to organise, manage, come up with these ideas and you know, make sure that they're running smoothly and that everyone is happy and okay with it. On top of that, there's usually one to two full-scale productions during Theatre Week, which you also need to be in tune with. You need to be in contact with those people and you need to make sure that they're on schedule as well. And one of the main events of Theatre Week is the Jerome Hines One Act Play series, which happens at the end of the week. So on top of the social events, the workshops, the talks, and the two full scale, two, one to two full-scale productions, the Jerome Hines One Act Play series is a series of four to five uh, original one act plays written and directed by one uh, by NUIG students and so on top of the actors the production teams and the audiences the front of house and everything in between for the Jerome Hines you're looking at dealing with 600 to 800 people in that week alone so organizational skills and interpersonal skills are two really important things on top of that theatre week is not just a two-week job there is a year-long time commitment needed for this role. You need to be planning way in advance. For me, I started pl coming up with ideas before I was even elected for the role uh, last year before the AGM and continued to plan Theatre Week in semester one while I was abroad in Spain. Um, so you really, if you're stretched thin, I would advise going for this role. You do need to commit to it. You do need to be able to put the time into it. That being said, you also need to realise and have a skill of delegating because there's too much work for one person. It says in the constitution that you were working alongside the auditors. I was really lucky this year with Nolan Oshin and that's something that you need to be able to work with your committee and your auditors and everyone to make sure that the week is running smoothly because you're only one person, you can't be everywhere, everywhere at once. So interpersonal skills, um, organisational skills, delegation skills, all of these things are highly important for this role. Now, that being said, don't let that scare you. It's, a, as I said before, it's a really, really fun role. It's really enjoyable. You get so much out of it. And just being able to be a part of the committee is something fantastic again. Um, piggybacking off that, for the rest of the year, you are an OCM. And an OCM is an ordinary committee member, which is highly important. OCMs are relied on by other committee members to help them out when, they, when they're needed. So I wouldn't advise going for this role just for the sake of being on committee. I wouldn't advise doing that for any of the roles, but that's definitely one that I just would advise. This is not this is not that type of role. Um, you need to be eager and excited and willing to lend a hand and willing to work for the committee all year round, not just for the one week in the year. Um, but yeah, it's great. And if you're thinking about running for it, absolutely do. If you have any questions, just give me a shout, drop me a message on Facebook or anything um, or comment under the video. I'll try to respond to it. I feel like a YouTuber. Um, but yeah, like go go for it. It's fantastic. It's such a fun role. And I was so, so lucky to get to be a part of it this year. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to see who the Torch of Theatre Week gets passed on to. So best of luck and see you in Theatre Week 2021.